Hello, I'm Chris Emery, and I'm a senior innovation consultant here with Scale North. And I was going to talk to you about uh, external IDs. Um, so, as you know, an external ID would be used in NetSuite to uh, associate a record uh, with an external system, uh, either a payroll system or some other system outside of NetSuite. So, you would use your external ID uh, in NetSuite to connect to the ID that's within that external system. We have a client that's made extensive use of their external IDs, and they use their external IDs for employee records, location, and department records. Um, the problem was if the client would create a new record, uh, say they're um, creating a new location, um, when they went to, they would create the new location, but since there's no easy way to enter the external ID, uh, it would not get entered and that would cause problems um, with other processes that we have. Um, uh, so the only way to currently with NetSuite enter an external ID is with a CSV import. Uh, so that would mean, you know, exporting the data from NetSuite, uh, creating a CSV file. Uh, so here I'm showing their internal ID of the location, which is eight. Uh, adding the external ID or updating the external IDs, uh, saving the CSV file, and then going in and creating a, a import template and going through the process of importing. Um, so this, you know, it's a difficult process and for one record, it's a little tedious. And so most NetSuite consultants uh, can show you so as you see here in the list, the list or doing a safe search to uh, show the external ID is easy. Um, so then the next step up from there is if you wanna see the external ID on the actual uh, location form, most NetSuite consultants know how to uh, go in and create a custom record to display the external ID on the record. And so you're just creating a, you know, an other record field uh, the record type, location, you give it a label, you give it your ID, uh, it's free form text, and you're not storing the value, and you're defaulting the value uh, using a formula to external ID. Uh, so that gets you to this point where you can view the record, but if you go in and, and try to update it, uh, say I want to make this 887, save the record, course there's no way to do it um, so after having a few issues uh, with the client and the external ID not being added uh, I was able to reach out to one of our senior sweet script developers and explain the problem then within a few hours uh, I had a working script that would update the external ID for the location records um, and so we have our own team of in-house developers, so it's very easy for us to reach out to our developers, explain the problem in detail, and get a working script in the client sandbox that we can then test and uh, demonstrate to the client uh, how it works. And with approval, uh, we move all those scripts into their production environment and custom fields, and then they have a working uh, functionality of the script. And so this script is, uh, this client has been very happy uh, using these scripts uh, to update their external IDs uh, for over the last year now. Uh, one thing to note is as of this recording uh, in July of 2023, uh, this script does work, but you know, NetSuite in the future could put up some type of blocks to, to the code and not allow this functionality. Um, so I can show you uh, an image of the script to show you what we're using. So I have this script. Yes, I have blurred out the functionality uh, just so it could not be duplicated, but mostly because this is a very complex script and everything has to be exact between the script uh, and the custom fields. Uh, so it really should be done by a professional. Uh, we don't want somebody to try and grab, do a screen grab of our script off this video and try to implement it. Uh, that would be very problematic. Um, 
And you do need a separate script for each record type, uh, whether it's an employee would need a separate script, the locations has a separate script, and department or other records would have their own separate script. So it can be quite uh, challenging to get all that set up. Because uh, as you see here, this record type is specific for location. And um, so that's just the job status when I did the import of the one. Uh, so now I can deploy the script. So I have the script in here, our test script, and I just turned it off to show you how it does not work uh, or how NetSuite would work typically without the script. So now I'm deploying the script uh, in a test mode. Uh, so now if I go back to the location and edit the location, and I want to make the external ID now 887, I'll add that, save the record, and as you see now it's been saved 887. And if we go back out here to the list, refresh, now it's 887. And say we have production, now that we have the script in here, we wanna add an external ID for this production location. And so this location external ID is 999. Let's save that. And as you see, 999 was saved. And so, yes, if you would like something similar in your system, uh, please reach out to Scale North and we can get that set up for you. Thank you. Bye.